welcome to a day in my life. Um, this is actually take two because I filmed today, actually, and I filmed everything right side up instead of side to side. Live and learn, but we're gonna give this a round two go. When my mom asked me to do this video, I was a little hesitant to say yes at first because my days are so different, um, but who says they need to be the same, right? And so here's just a peek into a Wednesday for me. What you do the night before is what sets you up for having an awesome productive day. And so there's a few things that I call my nightly ritual that I do that ensure that I have a fabulous day. First, I clean my room and just make sure it's all tidy because um, it gets really dirty during the day and who wants to wake up to a filthy room? So I just make sure everything's in an orderly fashion um, before I go to bed. And then right here I have my devotional. So it's all ready to go in the morning for me. Um, and then I also have my outfit that I'm gonna wear and then my workout clothes. Between all of that, that just sets me up for boom, having an awesome start to my morning. I've also started doing a one minute plank before bed and then a one minute plank first thing when I wake up. Um, I found it's just toning my abs and it's just something that I do. Okay, so it's really great to just realign your spine and work your core before you go to sleep. Um, and it's just all about consistency and the little things when it comes to staying fit and healthy. Last thing I'm gonna say before signing off for the night is I do not sleep with my phone in my room. In fact, I don't sleep with it in the general vicinity. I sleep out in the barn and I put my phone in the main house and plug it into charge overnight. Um, so that way I'm not tempted to get off social media and I've been getting a lot better sleep. Um, it was actually my mom's idea and I'm really thankful I started doing that. Um, it's really improved my sleep already. So, and I also, I used to mainly use my phone. My excuse for having it in my room was, I need my arm. But recently, I've started using one of these good old fashioned alarm clocks. And yes, it's late. I just got home from Volleyball League and my alarm set for 5.29 a.m. Um, it's gonna be an early morning because of bar three. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna sign off and I'll see y'all in the morning. went off. It is 5.30 a.m. and I am going to drink my water and get my plank done. And so everyone packs a lunch, and so she was my inspiration. So I'm making a tuna salad, and I'll probably pack a protein shake. So then I thought I'd just tell you what goes in this because it's really good. It's um, hard-boiled egg, celery, pickles, pepperoncinis, black pepper, and tuna. And then I use Greek yogurt as the what's the word? <laughs> as the sauce. There you go. So I hate mayonnaise, so that's why I use Greek yogurt. Um, but this is a really high protein, healthy, it'll keep me fueled throughout a long day of teaching. So. Are you going to eat it with crackers? Um, yeah, I'm going to probably eat it with Triscuits, pack an apple and cheese. You're good to Some go. other snacks. Nice. Scamp is going on right now. Kenzie's busting out some dishes. Bentley helping her out. Yep. Yeah. Um, and I am making my breakfast slash lunch and still prepping. So my day technically starts at 5.30 a.m.
My work day doesn't start till 10.30, and so I have a little bit more of a relaxed morning, which is really nice, because I teach from 10.30 to 6.30 today. Um, and so I'm gonna show you what I eat for breakfast. I usually eat the same thing every day, pretty much. So, three scrambled eggs with coastal cheese, apple or pear, and sometimes I'll eat Greek yogurt with um, granola if I'm hungry. Um, sometimes I won't. It depends by ear, but I am a big breakfast eater. It's one of my biggest meals of the day. I'm just a firm believer in eating breakfast and getting your metabolism going and keeping it going for the rest of the day. I would say that 80% of the time my mornings go, wake up, do my little thing, do my quiet time, work out, then eat breakfast, and then start my work day. Um, but days that I do bar three are always different due to the 20 minutes. I have both ways and the hour class. It just kind of throws my morning off a little bit. And so I'm doing my quiet time after breakfast, but I cannot think of a better way to start my day than spending time in the word. Wisdom and truth, it truly is a guidebook for life. Um, God just didn't leave us here to figure life out on our own. He gave us his word and so, I love getting in the word um, and spending time. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a framework. It varies from day to day, but this is what I'll usually study, um, or this is what my personal time with God looks like. As I'm reading the word, I am on the lookout for verses that I feel like um, God is speaking specifically to me um, and that are applicable for that season of my life. Um, and so when I find a verse like that, I'll copy it down in my journal. Uh, like this one. Know therefore that the Lord thy God, he is God, the faithful God, which keepeth covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. So this is just a verse that I loved. And so I'll put little bubble, um, like letters around it. And then um, sometimes I'll write down prayers. Um, sometimes I'll write down prayer requests. But I love going through my journals because I'll go back and it's just a testament of the Lord's faithfulness in my life. It's just answered prayer after answered prayer. And I just love seeing, um, you know, the way he's working. Alrighty, so it's 1020 and I'm on my way to my first student's home. Um, on Tuesdays, I teach 100% of the church. And then on Wednesdays, I go to a couple students' homes and then I teach for about four hours in the church. And so I am off to my first couple students. Let's go. I feel so blessed to do something that I'm so passionate about. It's amazing. So this is my teaching setup here at the church. This is where I do, I'd say 90% of my teaching. Um, it's the church I go to. There's like a window and it's like a classroom. There goes one of my students over there. <laughs> and this is where it all happens. So this is Shaylee. She's my voice student. And what are some things you're getting ready for right now? Um, I'm singing Silent Night at Church and then National Anthem. Teaching is my main thing. I have about 35 students in Bend, um, and that's what I do primarily, but I also work at Sisters Coffee, and so on some days I'm there. Um, but on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, it's all day teaching. And I feel so blessed to have something that I'm so passionate about and be able to do that for a living. Like, it's really, really incredible. And it, I teach by ear, which is kind of unique. Um, I was classically trained, but found that God had given me a gift with playing by ear and for a while I thought that you either like you were born with it or you didn't which is not true you could definitely train it and so I just love teaching all the different styles and really equipping whoever it is I teach moms and kids um, to do whatever their musical aspiration is and so whether that's being in a band or accompanying or being able to lead worship I love teaching all that so it is 6.40 p.m. Just finished lessons for today. Generally, I would head over to a Bible study, a young adult Bible study, where we eat dinner, worship, have a meeting, you know, do that whole thing. 
And tonight I was just feeling so tired and Thanksgiving's coming up and so I felt like I needed to rest. And so I came home and I'm about to go eat dinner. So I'm a little late to the party. <laughs> Their plates are clean. Oh. Hey, this is I'm kidding. <laughs> Bailey's concerned. She likes Greek men and food. But there's more food. And mommy made chicken shawarma, which is actually my favorite dish ever. I love Greek food. Um, it's my favorite. And so tonight's gonna be awesome. You break down my walls with the strength of your love. sing time and now we're having a little hot tub soak time with yeah. the siblings and the stars are out and it's a clear night which is beautiful and it's very relaxing it Shaka. <laughs> it's 9 p.m but i am already getting ready for bed because i for some reason i did not sleep well like at all like i slept two hours last night like i was looking at my alarm at 3 30 a.m and i was like why can i not, not fall asleep that's the most annoying feeling ever Anyways, I did get two hours. Look on the bright side, right? <laughs> so it's 9 p.m. and I'm hitting the hay. So I'm just gonna wash my face, take off my makeup, brush my teeth, floss, do my plank, fill up my cup of water. You guys know the drill because I already filmed it last night. So I hope you enjoyed this day in the life of Kelsey Johnson. We're slightly inspired to maybe apply some things that I do to your own life or not, but it's just me. Be sure to like it, subscribe, right? <laughs> okay. See, that's how tired I am. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Big Ski Family videos. Woo! Subscribe, subscribe, like.